How's it going guys? My name's Matt. So today I'm gonna show you how to etch tile. Yep, I'm gonna etch tile with color. It's gonna have color and it's gonna look like this. So it's pretty simple, easy process, and it's permanent. That's what I like about it. You can scratch as much as you want, but it's permanent. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I just wanna let you guys know I do laser engraving videos every other Friday, and we do a garden and greenhouse on Mondays, and Tuesdays and Thursdays is a vlog about our life, and Wednesday is my bee adventure video Then I'm starting a bee business also. And that's dying down through the winter, so it'll start back up in the spring. The one good thing about doing it with the paint is that it's permanent. I did not seal this. So once you paint it on there, it's fine. That's the really nice thing about doing it with spray paint. And make sure to stick to the end because I have a tip for you at the end. I have also, and you know, I did it for trying it out for this video, but it's, you're better off going to buy regular old paint. It didn't do that well. You can tell I did a test. So what I did is the sloth was at 50 speed and 100 power. And you can kind of see, like, you see how it's, it's kind of like light up here and it's not very dark and see-through. So I did another one at speed at 30 and power at 100. And it was the same thing up in the T, you can kind of see it got lighter. And then, so I was like, well, maybe it was go a little faster. So I went at 70 and power at 100 and it still did the same thing. I really don't like how it turned out. So I did is I used spray paint and I just used masking tape which I'll put this in the link below. I got it from uh, Amazon. It was actually pretty cheap for this huge roll. So, and I use it for quite a bit of other things. Now, a little disclaimer, you can't sell these because it's copyright. So don't try to sell them. That wouldn't be good. I'm just doing this to show you and my kids are gonna play with them. So do not sell them. I'm not telling you to sell them. Don't sell these unless you go get a license. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you through and show you how I did this. I did multiple ones and as you can tell they did the the koala bear one too so let's go through that okay so as you can see i already got the superman logo in here and what i'm gonna do is and this is the style the tile that i have and it's four and a quarter so i made a square four and a quarter so you want to do is come up to here put your nudge factor to 4.25 <clears throat> that's four and a quarter now we're going to take the um, superman logo here we're going to zoom in and click on it. Now you can see it's individually, you can pull all this away. So let's go click on this one, hold shift, and you can grab all the pieces that you want. We're going to go over, and that's a nudge factor. See how, so I know it's going to be on this tile, it's going to be the same exact on this tile. So then what you're going to do is there's a line on here. So let's put that line down to hairline. And let's group this one. Control G. We're gonna move that back. We're gonna zoom in to make sure it lines up over all the lines. Yep. So go back over. We're gonna go and make that black. So once you have it black, we're gonna go over here and make this one black. Now that we have both black, we're gonna send it to the laser. We're gonna go Control P. I got the fusion selected. Uh, preference is 600 and speed is 50. Power is 100, and I have the dittering at low res. Hit OK, hit print. You want to make sure you get all the bubbles out. Once you have all the bubbles out, we run it. Once you have the paint all shook up, <laughs> you want to do a light coat. Be very fast, I'll show you. You're just going to go from side to side. See? It's light, but you don't see any white tile. Now what I do is I take this tile and I bring it inside and I put it in my laser because there's an exhaust fan, so it's pulling air through and it dries it super fast. Okay, so now that we ran that, once you have it spray painted, then you can come back and you're gonna to wanna to take, highlight this one. We're gonna take this one and move it out of the way. Grab this one in the corner where it says node. Bring it to this corner. Highlight the, the Superman logo. And we're gonna hit print. Now we're gonna go run that one. All right, so once it's dry, 
Take the tape off. Ooh Does that look good? We're not done yet. Make sure all the residue's off. Make sure there's no bubbles, that will mess you up. Now we run it again. So you want to make sure when you have the tile done that you push down wherever you etched on the edge just don't like go fast or anything because you don't want to rip the tape off but make sure it's down tight because you don't want the paint to bleed through now the whole point of this to go slow in a light coat with the paint is because you don't want it to bleed you don't need much it won't scratch off i like playing around with the this kind of stuff and you know making stuff up and Having fun with it, that's the whole point of why I started with this, and this is the time I can do that right before a big rush, so. if you, I don't know if a lot of you guys watched the video I had before about coasters and how much money you can make and that whole video. I'll link it up here, but I, a, lot of, a couple people, not a ton, are asking on how to seal um, the product of wood when I made the coasters. I did a regular clear coat on this one. I used a lacquer on this one. And this one, I had a cup on there with ice in it. I put ice in it every day. I filled it up and I let it melt seven days in a row and I did it to this one. This one has stains on it. This one does not. Use the lacquer. Hope you guys learned from this and hope it helps someone out. And until next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>